So, Ross, welcome to Paraguay. Thank you for your time and for being here. Thank you very much for having me, yeah. How do you feel being here in Paraguay? Everything is new for you. It's very new. I'm very jet lagged still. Just got off the plane yesterday morning, but it's just been wonderful. Everyone's been so wonderful since I got here. Everyone's so nice. And uh, it's it's been a real dream of mine to come here for about 30 years since I was a kid. Really? So, oh, yeah, yeah. So this is very exciting for me. So did you read about Paraguay? Oh, yeah, yeah. In my Encyclopedia Britannica 30 years ago. Um, and I've always just wanted to come here, so it's cool. Yeah. It's a dream come true for us to have you here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So tell me the truth. Is Aaron your favorite character of your whole career or not? I, I mean, listen, The Walking Dead saved my, my life and my career, and I love playing this character, but I think if I have to be honest, um, Red Skull has a personal place in my heart because um, I grew up drawing Marvel comics and collecting those comic cards, so. Red Skull was a character that I used to draw and read about. And so I never thought I'd actually get a chance to, you know, go from like collecting this guy and drawing him to then playing him one day. So for me, it has a very sentimental place in my heart. But of course, The Walking Dead was the best thing that ever happened to me. So, you know, it's hard to say. It's like, which was your favorite child? It's impossible to choose, you know, so yeah. I know, I know. So do you remember what you felt when you finished recording the first uh, participation um, in five season of The Walking Dead? Oh, the first episode I ever did? Yeah, I mean it was it's still kind of surreal because I was, I was a fan of the show before I got on it and then going from being a fan of the show to then working with these actors was super surreal. I mean Andrew Lincoln, Rick was the first person I met and uh, he gave me a big hug and said welcome to the family and I was like oh my god you're Rick Grimes you know it was just it was it was such a, an emotional moment and finishing that first episode, I was so nervous, but we got through it. And then I did the next episode, I felt a little bit better and more confident, and it just kind of uh, went from there. So um, I'm just grateful for the whole thing. It's the final. Final episode, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for those that didn't see the other night on Sunday, uh, or lunes, I guess out here, but uh, uh, it was the last episode of the show. I made it, which is great, um, but it's, it's, it's bittersweet because it was the show that you know, eight years of my life, and it's all over now. But um, we're very, we're very happy that we were able to shoot that many seasons of the show. Eleven seasons is unheard of in cable TV. So it's like a big family. Big family, yeah, absolutely, yeah. How far in advance did you know about the characters that were dying in each episode, and do you celebrate that your character was surviving? <laughs> I mean, we we used to have death dinners. Mm -hmm. So what would when uh, someone would die, we knew they were going to die. Once we filmed their final episode. We would have a gathering usually at Carol's place, Melissa's house, and um, we would kind of send them off and say the nice things about them that you would want to hear before you die. So it's like a eulogy, oh but God. while the person's still living, you know? Um, and that was wonderful. I thought that was a, a beautiful way of honoring the person and their performance. Um, but uh, usually we found out sometimes as, as, as short as like two or three days before they were gonna die. Only three days? Yeah, <laughs> sometimes a week, but usually very few days. So it was a weird experience to, you know, learn that one of your best friends is dying. I learned that Callan uh, Alden was dying last year, and I was like, no, because he was, you know, he's one of my best friends. And learning that he was going to die only a few episodes into the season was very heartbreaking for me, because I thought we were going to have the entire year to, you know, have fun and listen to music and hang out, but it wasn't the case. Oh, yeah. People die all the time on that show, so yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and did you read the comic? I did, I did. Uh, I read up until when Glenn got his head bashed in. Because that for me was like, I think I was learning too much about what the, what the show was going to do. And I wanted, yeah, I wanted to be surprised as an actor, so I stopped reading it. But uh, Spell it like, like you. <laughs> exactly. I wanted, yeah, right, right. Yeah, so, yeah. so I know you have to go to another interview. So before saying goodbye, and thank you, of course, um, we know about your talent in imitation. <laughs> okay, so, you. can you invite the people to go to the Comic Con, but doing it like Al Pacino or Brad Pitt would? Oh, Al Pacino. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Comic-Con Paraguay. All three days, viernes, sábado, domingo. Este, este, what was it, weekend. <laughs> fin de semana. Be there. I don't know how to say it. Mi español es muy malo, pero... Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Thanks for having me. Welcome to Paraguay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>